got a new customer, new property that I'm taking care of. Picnic right here. So let's get started. Let's get started. Hey y'all. I just decided to do this uh voiceover over this um video here to inspire and to just ramble on really pretty much <laughs> anyway um yeah got a couple of videos coming um hope y'all saw the video of me changing the blades well not really showing the whole video of me changing the blades but just changing the blades whatever that probably was a boring video um i'll do an actual video later where where I actually put the blades on and off, take the blades on and off. Um, I'll do a video of that later. And also, um, got a couple more videos that I really want to do. Like I did, kind of went over a video of uh, the backpack, electric backpack blower that I have, but I didn't really do a, um, show you guys how it actually works, really. Uh, so I really want to do a video of that and um, I did a video of, of the drive I um, hope y'all like that video of you know where I drove and pretty much was explaining how it is when you know you're driving with a trailer and then you got some buttholes out there that cut you off or just do crazy stuff that is a um, very smart idea to um record while you're driving like not necessarily yourself you know having a camera facing you but having a camera facing the road and uh so that way you know um if anything happen or you know don't happen or you witness something like i said you have documented proof anything like that you know of what happened and also, um, um, just, you know, just for something you to have, you know, prior posted on YouTube or whatever. It's been a while since I really actually sat down and watched videos on YouTube. You know, I got a lot of catching up to do. It's been a while. It's been about a month, almost two months since I actually, uh, actually sat down and fully watched videos because I've been extremely busy. Uh, day and night been extremely busy uh, doing that and um, also um, uh, doing a video on um, how you know how to you know pretty much change the oil on your machine I know y'all probably seen videos of that but I just want to do that for myself really and um more videos of new properties and 
everything else like that yeah I just smiled for the camera <laughs> thumbs up switching angles right now you know uh, cutting the other side couldn't fit uh, a Z turn back there at all you can't even fit a walk behind or nothing so you have to really literally have a uh, push more to um, cut this back this backyard because they you know the gateway is probably about probably about 40 inches wide but it's just that uh, AC unit is the problem of getting by you know now if the gate was on the opposite side you know then you can fit uh, you know walk behind or stand there or Z turn right there especially if it's a um, double door you know you can fit up about pretty much any size well not any size but up to probably 60 inches you know back there but yeah so have to use a push more back here you know it's not too bad the grass the grass wasn't high I mean it was it was medium size it wasn't real 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 tall so that was you know a good good thing but anyway, like I said, I did this video, really, watch me cut, and also doing this voiceover, really, because normally I play music in the background while I'm cutting. But I did this video, really, or this voiceover, really, to tell you guys to keep pushing, don't give up, you know. I know sometimes, especially starting off, you get discouraged because you don't, you know, you don't really have that many customers. You know, you don't really, you really don't get the phone calls, you know. But that's okay, because we all been through that, especially, you know. Uh, more, more, the more you do it, of course you're gonna get recognized, and um, just advertise, you know, advertise. You don't necessarily have to, um, have to have advertise on. Craigslist, that's a good one. Free, uh, free uh, site you can advertise on because a lot of my customers I get from off of um, Craigslist. Um, of course, you can get a free web website done if you if you can't afford to um, pay for a real you know website. You can get a website or so-called blog from uh, WordPress. I'm quite sure some other ones, but I have one through WordPress. Um, let me see. Another way you can advertise yourself, you can advertise yourself on Google, uh, Yahoo, Bing, uh, what else? Uh, Yelp. Um, other sites like that, you know. You can do it for free without having to pay. Um, of course, you're gonna get phone calls from from most of them uh, saying that you know if you really want to be seen and all this other stuff that you can pay. But I don't pay. I do it for free. Um, I get phone calls through from Yelp to uh, you know get a I guess what they say Bella viewing. But I still get phone calls even through them. I say that the best way really you can be seen through any of those is uh, your reviews, really. Uh, if you get a bunch of reviews on your, um, you know, on your ad or, you know, your, your, yeah, your ad on, on uh, Google, you know, being any of those and get reviews, um, that'll may also make, you know, it be seen quickly. Uh, we gotta adjust the camera some more. Uh, I figured that not. I didn't want to stop. Just record. You know while I'm cutting. I mean while I'm walking and really just adjusting the camera to this side. Gotta get it perfectly right. You know because sometimes the camera wanna fall by itself or you know just craziness going on. But anyway, yeah, you could do that. Uh, you could uh, do an advertisement 
through uh, Facebook. You know, if you have a Facebook page, you know, advertise through Facebook. Um, I don't really. Uh, I had to readjust it again. Uh, I don't really um, advertise through uh, through uh, don't really advertise through through uh, Instagram. Mm, lost the train of thought right there. Uh, don't really advertise through Instagram because you mm, you can, but I don't I don't really use Instagram. I may just stick with uh Facebook. Um advertise through that. Um it's a new app that's all that's called uh Next Door. You can advertise through that. You know, I I advertise through that but don't really, you know, don't really I don't really get any connects through that really. Cause it's a I think it's a lot that you have to do through that. You know, so pretty much I'm and also you can do your advertisement through uh signs we just in the camera again but uh yeah you can advertise through uh you know your yard signs like uh i just started doing that now you know i wanted to do it last year when i started doing it full time but they didn't quite get around to it but i'm doing it now because i pretty much uh uh Either I order them through Vistaprint or I go through uh, a local, you know, um, you can also go through Vistaprint or go through one of your local um, uh, designers, you know, that design signs and, and car decals and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I just order some from my local uh, designer. Um, but, yeah, and but I mainly do them myself. Like, I... Printed out uh, three, three um, logos that's on a uh, sticker type paper where you can stick it on, you know, pretty much any surface just about. And uh, I did that, and I put it on the sign, and I like put my phone number and you know free estimate, just something simple. But um, what I do rather than me sticking them like on sides of roads and stuff like that, where it probably don't even stay out there that long and probably stay out there for like an hour and get taken away or thrown away or something like that so what I do especially if you have commercial property what I do is when I service my commercial property I stick my sign there so that way I know nobody is going to mess with it is going to mess with the uh, with your sign because you you uh you service that lawn nobody else but you so if you put your signs out there out in your uh property your commercial property that you service and not just your commercial okay i'm back <laughs> um I had a phone call just now but anyway like i was saying that uh even if you do residential properties um you can uh, put your signs out there in your residential property, so that way, uh, that way, uh, you people drive by, and like I said, you're the only one that services the property, and of course, you probably have to talk to some of your customers. But I'm quite sure most of them don't mind because, like I said, with with uh, True Green and you know other companies like that, when they Put out their fertilizer and spray and weed control and all that stuff that they do. They put their signs right, right there, you know, in, in the property. So you can do the same thing as well with, with your signs. Like once you finish, you know, cutting and weed and edging and all that stuff to your property and it looks nice and perfect. Anything. Just put your, uh, just put your your sign up, and that's that. Since, well, I actually really didn't eat food since yesterday. This morning, all I had was a, some chips and soda. That's how I do pretty much every day. I rarely eat. I need to. I know I need to eat breakfast as soon as I go. Get up and get myself ready in the mornings. But sometimes I just get up and go. Sometimes I don't even take breaks. 
And I just go, 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 go. I don't take breaks. Yep. Even when I do have help, I do that. Like if my wife is helping me, I still don't take no break. <laughs> you know, I just go, go, go. Want to get it all done. So when it's done, then I can relax. You know, been on the ground since uh what six this morning, something like that. But anyway. I'm all done. Yeah. I have, I have issues now with my Z-turn. It cut, as you can see. But now, this piece done broke from the deck. So when I cut, the deck hangs. This piece still hanging on. As well as the other two on the other side is hanging up. It's, you know, they still good. But that snapped off. So what I'm going to have to do. Is get a welder. Now I have somebody weld it, but I do it myself. I have to buy a welder and weld everything back together. You know, that's one thing that I'm telling y'all that I hate about those type of decks is that uh, they dent real easy, they break real easy compared to the step decks. Like I said, on the uh, hustlers and the uh, the uh, the uh. Shoot, I can't even think of it right now. Hustlers, some, some Toros, uh, and some John Deere. But I'm mainly talking about many all the hustlers. They they dance even though they round like that, but they still stamp like real, real, real sturdy. To where if you hit anything, it still won't dent or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, have to do that. And uh, but anyway. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.